Good afternoon, Cougars. We are back with another episode of the ALX Press Box. Today is a very, very special episode for me because I am here with one of the Cougars, Sydney Lowe. How you doing, Sydney? I'm good. Good, good. You, did Coach Robinson give you the day off from running since it's raining? No. <laughs> did y'all have practice this morning or uh, what are y'all doing with practice? Well, this morning we had practice. It's so there's two options for practice right now. So we can either come at 6.30 in the morning before school or at 3.30 after school. Okay. Here in the morning because it's way cooler. Yeah, no doubt about it. No, it's probably a little less wet today. But, um, but anyway, Sydney is one of our rising juniors, correct? Class yes, of 2022. And um, she's also a cross country and track athlete. So. Tell me, how long have you been running? What exactly do you do? What are your events in track? What do you do? Well, in track, I run mainly the 800 and the 1600, which is the half mile and mile. <laughs> no, but thank you. Occasionally, I'll run like in the four by four, which is just one lap on the track. Okay. And so that's like a full out sprint for you, I'm imagining. I would need to rest a little bit halfway through. But, um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm on with Sydney today because um, just to catch everybody up, one, to tell you a little bit about what's important to me as an educational leader. Student voice is what I champion in my role as an uh, educational administrator. It's very important to me that we teach our students that their voice has power, that their voice has value, and that no matter what they're saying, we need to listen as adults. Um, and Sydney was one of the students that stands out immediately in that effort. And we'll dig into why in just a second. Um, so Sydney and I have, we, we forced a relationship last year during my first year. I immediately thought she was amazing. She has an amazing family. Her dad is actually one of my unofficial mentors. I haven't told him that yet, but he, he's one of my mentors. He just doesn't know it yet, but he's such a, a kind man. And, um, I'm, you know, I know mom is delightful as well, and your little sister, can't wait to get to know her as well. But um, recently in Douglas County Schools, um, there was this huge rumor that the school board was going to meet and shut down athletics due to COVID. Um, and, you know, some of our precautions have been very, very specific, but there was not a lot of information given um, there was just rumor and speculation that the board was going to shut down sports. And so that sent lots of coaches and parents and of course our athletes into a frenzy. And here's our disclaimer guys, this conversation with Sydney and I today 
is not about is COVID real? Are the precautions that we're taking overboard? Should we or should we not have sports? That is simply not what this conversation is about today. Our conversation today is about the power of student voice and how Sydney used her voice to advocate for her peers. So Sydney, talk to me a little bit. When you heard that rumor, what went through your mind? Well, I was super mad. I was devastated because sports are like my everything. So if I'm having a bad day, then I go out and I run. Or okay. if something bad happens, you know, I'm frustrated because I didn't get my work turned in on time or I didn't get a good grade, then I'll go run. It's like a stress reliever for me, regardless of like competition level, all that aside, it's just for some people like, like me, it's just, it helps me. I guess de-stress. Okay. So needless to say, in summary, you you were very disappointed, devastated, and frightened that it could all be taken away. The choice could be taken away, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So what did you do when when what what were your actions that that kind of um, as as a result of hearing that news? Well, as soon as I found out about it. Um, I found out from some of my teammates and then my coaches started mentioning things and then one of our cross country meets got canceled. And so automatically I was just, I was really upset and I wanted to know like if there was anything I could do. So I asked my coach and he was like, well, there's not really much you can do. You can ask people if they want to come out. So I reached out to some of the other teams and some of the other athletes from our school to come up to the board meeting and show support, regardless of whether it made a difference or not. It was just to show how much all these athletes care about sports. Okay. So they would understand. Okay. So after I was done sending those messages, um, I figured it wouldn't hurt to send emails to the board members. So okay. I wrote out a long essay <laughs> and emailed it to them, basically telling what sports mean to all of us and what it would mean if we didn't have them. Okay. And so what was the result of all of your efforts in terms of like reaching out to the kids, reaching out to the coaches, reaching out to the board members? What, what happened with that? Some of the, there were a bunch of kids, a bunch of athletes that showed up to the board meeting and we waited outside until it was done um and then one of the board members gave me a response back and told me basically how much it meant that I reached out to them and told them what what I felt about it okay and they let me know that it wasn't a it wasn't a problem that we were going to keep going with sports and it just it made my day I was just really happy about that good so the response Rita Fashion Thomas is the board member um, over our zone for our school. And so um, your dad forwarded me the email and I was thrilled also. But um, Ms. Thomas, Ms. Fashion Thomas responded to you. So basically what you're saying is that it made you feel good that you felt like you were listened to. Is that, that kind of what you're saying? Yes. All right, good. So um, in that, you know, I just kind of want to recap. So you, you felt something was wrong. And you wanted to know what you could do about it, not how you could talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's not speak about it, right? Mm -hmm. And so you mobilized and you like, hey, let's get the troops. Let's go show everybody how much this means to us. And um, you did it. I mean, like I saw one of the text messages that you sent a coach and I thought it was just, I was like, wow, this girl is, is making moves, man. And I was really proud of you. Um, I spoke to your dad about it that night and everything. And so after you um, got to the board meeting, you also sent a letter. And that letter just explained how impactful sports is for you and how bad it would be for you if it were taken away. And um, so the response, tell us a little bit about the details of the response. I, I, you said it already. I just kind of want to go back to it because it was so meaningful what, what she said. She told me that it, it meant so much to all of them when they were meeting, they mentioned it. 
um, and that <laughs> she just basically said it meant a lot that I reached out to her and talked about how much it means to me and how much it means to my teammates and how much it means to the county. Right. Not even our school, just because I know so many people are like in the same shoes and they understand how much it would mean if it wasn't there. Right. So, just ignore my phone ringing. This is the second interview I've had and my phone starts ringing. Let me see who it is. Oh, that's a classroom. I'll call that person back in a moment. But uh, anyway, so we, you know, we were, we're talking about the essence of what we're talking about today is student voice. Why do you think it's so important during this time and climate in the world that you guys as, as youth and the leaders of tomorrow begin to start exploring your voice now? Why do you think that's important? I think it's, it's important because a lot of times adults aren't going to listen to kids because we're, we don't have the same like life experience that adults would have. But in some instances, it's, it's almost better to have like a perspective from a different, a, I don't really know how to you, explain it. It's, you, it's good. You're not tainted by the world yet. You're not jaded by all the things and you haven't formed certain opinions. Good deal, good deal. And I, so I know like, you know, a lot of times we, we challenge students, hey, tell me what's on your mind but make sure you don't lose the message in your delivery, if that makes sense. You know, like if you had gone to the board meeting and were screaming at the board members and you wrote a nasty letter to the board or a nasty text to your coaches, do you think that would have been received the same way or had the same impact? No, definitely not. Because then they wouldn't, if you make it sound respectful and make it sound like you're not, being threatening then they're going to listen because it shows a maturity level that's where they are if you go and you're like really rude and aggressive or you know you say some threatening things then they're going to think it's really childish and they're mm -hmm. not even going to pay attention to it just kind right. of toss it to the side right I, I i just couldn't wait to get you on the press box i mean I, this show is about sports and it's, you know, thankfully you're an athlete, so we got to talk a little bit about sports. But the, the deeper message that I wanted to, you know, that for you to help me send to your, your classmates and fellow students across the county and in the world is basically your voice is powerful and make sure you're not afraid to use it. Like you had the courage to stand up for your teammates and stand up for athletes all across the country when you said, let me say something you know i want to make sure people know how important this is to us and i don't ever want you to let anything extinguish that flame you let that fire burn passionately and whether you know it or not you're my unofficial uh athletic department spokesperson now if i ever need a student to talk matter of fact did you hear that you're going to be speaking on friday did you hear that already okay good good i'm glad somebody told you so this is not the first time you're hearing about it so we got big things to come sydney Lowe. And um, make sure you get your sister ready because I'm going to need to talk to her soon, too. Make sure you tell your dad he's my unofficial mentor. So um, I don't know if he's going to charge me for that or what, but I'm so grateful to you for being you. And um, anything I can do to ever help you be successful. And, you know, I'm ready to write that recommendation letter for your scholarships. Whenever it's time to do that, you just make sure you let me know, okay? Yes, sir. All right, and I really appreciate you being on the show today. Thank you so much, and I'll send you the link as soon as I post it. Thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>